What's up everybody, it's Muhammad from Product Feedback and in this video we'll be checking out the Thermaltake Jing. The test system that we'll be using is my Core i7-930 clocked at 2.8 GHz. The installation was quite simple and the only difficulty might be when you're screwing in the middle bolt as you have to put quite a fair amount of force into it. The Jing cooler has support for multiple uh, sockets. This includes Intel 775, 1156, 1366, and AM2, AM2 Plus, and AM3. The Jing cooler looks quite interesting. Personally, I would have liked the cream to be a nice matte black, but apart from that, it does uh, make an interesting visual appearance inside anyone's case. Both the fans included with the Jing are adjustable, so you can adjust the speed. They are very quiet fans, but I've included a sound clip so you can make the decision yourself. I believe they're only 16 decibels. Under load, the gin cooler performs reasonable for a air cooler. Basically, most of the core temperatures were about 40 to 50 degrees depending on load. I found that most of the time when you're not doing much, they ran about 40 degrees. But in this demonstration, this is uh, under heavy load, rendering a file and also running a game in the background. Those looking to upgrade from a stock CPU cooler or wanting something a lot more quiet that does cool on air, then the Thermaltake Jing has quite a good set of offerings that it might be worthy of your hard-earned cash. This week's video question is, what CPU cooler do you use? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Muhammad signing out. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.